Yes, guys, I did find Ethereum's bottom. You guys don't want to miss it. But before I even get into that, I'm going to be doing a technical analysis along with a price prediction for the week and some crypto news. With that said, this is DC Trading. Make sure to subscribe and to smash the notification. With that said, let's get right into it. If you guys want to know what the bottom is, make sure to watch the whole video. Okay, so guys, overnight in July, we pumped up all the way up to the $1,171 range. As you guys can see, it touched the Bollinger Band, but it touched the top of the Bollinger Band, got rejected. We're spiraling down, but it seems like right here, we picked up and it seems like this is a support. It has been holding for the past couple hours very good on here. We're going to have to wait and see how long it lasts for because we are also in the overbought with the RSI or oversold. So we're going to have to make our way back up. Are we going to test this support or resistance, I should say, of $1,240? Yes, guys. So as you guys can see, we did also touch the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So we have good indications that this is a support for Ethereum, the $1,092. Because we're in the oversold along with the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And if you look at the volume right here, people are starting to buy around this area. So that's why it's holding off very well. But guys, I'm going to tell you why I believe we're going to see more downside for Ethereum because I just discovered the bottom for Ethereum. You guys don't want to miss it. I'm telling you, you guys don't want to miss it. But as you guys can see, we did buy over here. People were selling around this area because it did reach very high levels. But they saw it was continuing to go up and it stayed high. People started buying then they got scared and they started selling off right here. But now we're buying again. Yes. So what is my price prediction this week for Ethereum? Well, guys, I do believe Ethereum will close around the $1,160 to $150 level because we are stuck in a position basically where we're very, very low. So the only way to go is up right now. So we're going to be stuck because we also don't have many buyers right now for Ethereum and crypto because of all the news going out with the, the hedge funds, a lot of scamming going on, a lot of, you know, these crypto exchanges, freezing traders, accounts. So people are very scared to put their money into Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So we're going to be stuck around this 1,150 price level. That is my price prediction. Comment your price prediction for Ethereum. Okay, now moving on. If we look at you know the uh, you know bigger time frame right here, if we scope out more, it looks like we are forming a head and shoulders. As you guys can see, it goes like whoop right there, and then we go to the top. And now we're meeting this right here again. We got rejected around this area. I'm going to draw it so you guys can clearly see, guys, what I'm talking about. So you guys can see right here, right here, right here, right here, and then right here now again. So what does this mean? Well, guys, do expect more downside for Ethereum because this is a head and shoulders forming I just showed you right now and a head and shoulders is a bearish pattern also I'm going to show you some more because the bottom for Ethereum is in guys it is going to be this month July the month of July guys and do expect a 30% wick down as I said in the previous so now guys we're going to be talking about Ethereum's bottom the moment you've been waiting for the reason why you clicked this video okay guys so if we looked at past histories of reversals we did see before a reversal we saw a wick as you guys can see 
right here I calculated the wick 33% before we saw a pump along with this one we saw a 25% wick I measured the wick guys and we saw a 25% right here we did see a 21% wick before we seen more so now I average all these out it came out to 25% but for this sake of the video to be safer we're gonna do 30% and what I found the bottom is for ethereum is going to be seven hundred and thirty four dollars guys yes the bottom for ethereum is going to be seven hundred and thirty four dollars but let's just say for the sake of this video let's put 25 it can be 800 so the best thing to do is round us so ethereum's bottom is going to be between 700 and 800 dollars expect that in the month of july because we have some more news coming in for cryptocurrencies because the economy is doing very bad right now inflation is going to rise as you guys you know as jerome powell said in previous meetings and expect a higher interest rate this month again so we're gonna hit the fan it's going to go crashing. We're going to see a wick all the way down to $700.34. That's the lowest. Yes, guys, that's the lowest for uh, Ethereum. Make sure to comment down below. What is your thoughts on the bottom for Ethereum? Do you believe it's going to be lower? It's going to be higher? Or did we already hit the bottom and we're going to see more upside for Ethereum? Yes, guys, I would love to hear that. Also, guys, I do have some more information on Bitcoin, what the bottom is for Bitcoin, along with some bearish news for Bitcoin. I'm going to do that in my next video. So make sure to post or not to post to turn on post notification and subscribe along with hit the like button to help promote this video out to more people so they know what the bottom is for Bitcoin yes guys so recap of everything we did form a head and shoulders which is a bearish sign for big or for ethereum along with what my price prediction is for this week is going to be 1150 to 160 unless something big happens in the crypto world or in the economy then it can go even lower yes also, I did tell you the bottom for Bitcoin, which is $734 to $800. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this and make sure to subscribe for more content on cryptocurrency. Peace.